All right, we are back at it again. Let's get this poodle doodled. All right, we're gonna go with a Z plug in here. Well, going to Decimation Master. Decimate current. That leaves me. All right. Looking good. And now, now that it's more evenly placed, I think we can go ahead and turn on our handy dandy. Sure we're actually mirrored here. Smooth this nose out. This is a really good song. If not a little bit repetitive, still good. I enjoy it. complain about DMC DMCA free music that's for sure let's see if we can't I'm wondering if maybe hmm. let's actually go back a few steps here and we're gonna look at the yeah so what we're gonna do instead is we're actually gonna yeah instead of doing that we're just gonna go ahead and work on it normally so we don't have to worry about any uh mishaps all right Shaping this nose. It doesn't need to be too detailed because whenever it gets printed out, it's, uh, it'll end up losing a lot of that detail anyway. But I do want it to look nice. I'm gonna focus on large details for now. Well, I say large details, but say large fine details that's pretty much what we're going for here it's a bit of a contradictory statement but hey let's see what goes there oh no <laughs> definitely don't want to do that all right So the nose, pretty much done. Let's see, we can do a bit of a trick here. So let's, oh, that's a bit too much. So we're gonna take down the intensity. We're gonna kinda gonna shrink that. Oop. Still wanna take down the intensity a little more. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot better. Give a little bit of texture to that nose without sacrificing. Yeah, that way it doesn't look so flat. And then we can put that in a little bit more. All right, we're gonna take that damn standard. And while we have Do some major creases but in those major creases we're gonna kind of 
add some fur. Some light fur, nothing, nothing too crazy. Just to add a little bit more texture to it. Okay. We're just gonna keep going around the creases with that slight fur texture. All right, smooth out this area here so that we can go in there with the details and cut in the details like that. All right. Now, we wanna get this. So that's giving it kind of a hard edge. So what we're gonna go is instead of trim dynamic, we're gonna go with polish. Yeah. So it gives us more of a refined look, less of a harsh cut like we were getting earlier. We're going to work with polish when you go with... You know what, let's go subtract because that's better, yeah. Yeah, that way we can get the smooth look without getting too harsh into it. here. Okay, let's bring the standard tool in, give it a little bit of a little bit of plump. Yeah, looking good, looking good. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the trim the damn oop <laughs> gonna switch out that uh, brush that we had just so we can have quicker access to it All right Getting that smoothing going I'm getting like a we want to keep it relatively round, which is why we're not going for the straight up trim dynamic. We're keeping it on the polish end so we can still smooth and flatten out areas without getting it too harsh of an edge. The trim dynamic's really good for hard surface stuff, but for organic stuff like this, it's not as great. I mean, it can be good sometimes, but. You gotta use it in the right areas. Alright, and we'll Yeah. Not gonna lie, not a fan of whatever's playing right now. It's kinda strange. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go with that instead, that's for sure. Was, uh, that <laughs> was really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Ooh, so we got a little bit of a sharp edge there. We're going to round that out more. All right. And then I'm going to take this and bring it out just a little bit more so it's not so such a wavy looking kind of going like that before all right yeah there we go there we go all right cut that in there because we want the eyeballs to be prominent Smooth that out. I 
I think the topology is just a little rough, which is why the smoothing's not working. Oh, okay. Got worried there for a second. I thought we were gonna get, uh, gonna go crash. But we are all good. All right, and so we're gonna just kind of touch up some of these areas, give it a little more slight textures, and keep it kind of random-ish. We don't want it looking too uniform because otherwise that kind of throws off the uh, realism. Especially kind of go in here because the fur reaches over top of this a bit. All right. Cutting into this a little bit more. We're going to go keep going around the eyes. Variety is the spice of life, it's also the spice of art. So now, and there's a very clear separation between the hair and the rest of the uh, head here. I'm gonna use the polish tool and we're gonna polish out, buffer out that uh, really rough area we have right there. Not really digging that. And then when we get into the hair is when we're going to turn off our symmetry. Uh, but we're going to wait. Because obviously it's going to be a, a lot better looking if the hair is not symmetrical. This is just the block out step. And we're looking, looking all right on the face here. Just add a little bit more texture. Here in the lower lip. Let's vary our brush sizes. All right, there we go. It's looking looking a little better now. Now they have a bit of the. Oh, I don't want to make it too intense there, but they do have kind of a. They have like a lip underneath of their lip. If that makes any sense. Okay, and we're gonna take off, let's go dots, alpha off. And now we can go back and just do that normally. All right. We're looking like the head is good. Now we can concentrate more on the hair. Okay, and we're gonna start with the ears. And now, the ears we can keep symmetry on. The top of the head's the one that we're gonna be worried about taking symmetry off. All right, we can create a separation because we have this really kinky, curly hair on top, and then kind of just wavy hair for the ears. Now we're gonna go down here a little bit more and we're gonna smooth this out a lot. Kind of spread apart that topology a bit because it's a bit too rough whenever we go higher details. So we're gonna smooth this out more. Okay, and we're gonna yeah, just spread that topology out whole bunch because it was looking a bit too much in one area and then fluff that up because they got big old fluffy ears all 
right. All right. So that's looking a little better. We're going to go higher. And we're still getting a lot of this artifacting. What was that? Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to take. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to go grab my phone. All right. And we are back. I wanted to keep the Twitch chat open because I noticed that emojis don't necessarily show, or emotes don't show up on the uh, multi stream. So I'm keeping Twitch chat open on my phone while I'm looking at the multi stream chat. Polish this out. We're gonna kind of work on this uh, this level here for a bit after we smooth out and smooth it out more. Okay, because we did a whole lot of breaking down of details last night, but I think that kind of hurt us in the long run just because the details messed up the topology whenever we went around and did more but that's fine we are coming back at it again so we're gonna just create these clumps of hair all right Some small clumps, some large clumps. All right. Separation and variety. Contrast and variety. Those are the uh, big two of the art world. The more variety and the more contrast you have in your art, the more striking an appearance it's going to be. You don't want it quite that wavy, it's just kind of like that, yeah. Oh, it's not going to be quite that much, so we're going to turn down the... Yeah, something like that, there we go. And then now... We're gonna have a bigger chunk like that. Mm -hmm. Create some more separation there. All right, looking good, looking good. Looking good, Mr. Poodle, Mrs. Poodle. I don't know, you're something I'm sure. All right, and now we're gonna add just some sharp areas now what this is gonna do is whenever we go in and add more strands it'll create that uh, that separation that we want All 
All right. Just keep doing it. Creating a little, little bit of variances here and there as we go. Not too uniform. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit uniform, but you know, it's underneath the ear, so it's not gonna show as much. So we'll uh we'll let that slide for now, but don't let it happen again. Me. Looking pretty good as far as the sculpt of the hair is concerned. And now, what we can do is take this, we'll bump it up one more, back to its original resolution. It's looking a lot more clean, a lot less uh, issues than before. Kind of polish out some of these areas and then what we're gonna do is in between where we cut where we added those sharp areas we're gonna add cuts in and that'll give us the uh, separation to make it look nice clean and detailed just want to surround Oop. this yeah surround those sharp angles you made and by you I mean me and we add a little bit more fine details nothing crazy just to give it that mu that push And keep going, keep going. Now, the back, like I said, isn't super important, but they are still going to see it. So we still want to give it some good separation like we have been. Focus less on the less seen areas and more on the more seen areas. Not really much of an elegant way to put that, is it? <laughs> but hey. Alright. Just create some more cuts on the front. We want to, the front facing part of the ear, we want to look nice because that's the front of the head. And what do you see the most of? All right, add more cuts there. And now the ears are looking nice and wavy not too crazy detailed but not under detailed either so we're looking pretty good on that front now the fun part which is this massive fluff that poodles have on their head we're actually gonna go ahead and do something else here before we move on i want to make sure i want to kind of bring this down and we'll see if that affects the silhouette at all but I don't think it should so we'll move this down yeah all right 
looking good. All right, and let's look at the front. Nothing's affected, side, nothing's affected. Good, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna have to check out the other models that we have for this, but I just wanna make sure I have it thick enough. Cause I know that that was an issue with some of the other models. So we're just gonna thicken the inside here, the inner walls. All right. So we're just gonna polish this area. Flatten this out some more. All right. So that's actually looking pretty good on that front. So I think we should be fine as far as the thickness on the inside goes. Let's smooth that out. Oop. Don't want to do that. All right. Yeah, it's fine. No one's going to really see the inside of that anyway. Okay. So now back to this lump. And what we're going to do... So we're gonna take off symmetry. We're gonna spend a lot of time on this lump. All right. We're gonna mainly use the damn standard tool. And we're just gonna create round kinky curls. We're going to kind of go with that look. The sculpted yet detailed look. Uh, the really, really good thing about sculpting hair like this is that, I mean, it takes a long time, but it, it, it looks really nice. Nice and clean when all's said and done. And that's what we're looking for, is just some nice, clean work. We have a lower resolution right now, but we will up the resolution later to make it look better. All right. We don't want to rush it because then that's when we make mistakes. And really, honestly, we're just kind of we're doing this at like uh, at random, but at the same time, still controlled, controlled chaos. Okay. You can see there's a bit of a pattern going on here. We're we're making a we're making a uh, a sharper cut like that, and then we're going in around it, and we are cutting back into it. And there's variety. We'll do some big ones. I actually increase the brush size for this one. 
And then we'll go in. There we go. And then now we'll do one. Oh, let's do one like, oop. Increase the brush size again. The increased brush size really helps because it kind of pushes the geometry more. I'll just kind of do some facing each other. Some facing away. And just a little, just some, this aren't, aren't quite full circles because we don't want it just to be filled up with the same, same shape over and over again. All right, so what we'll do is now, I'll just kind of only do the sharper edges and then we'll go back in and cut into it later. All right, looking good, looking good. I say to myself, that's good art, me. And it's important you stay humble. All right. Just kind of zoom out for a second. All right. Now it's kind of it's kind of a little weird here. So what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of give it some tr some treatment here. We're gonna kind of cut this area. Well, maybe maybe we'll cut that area if we can do it properly. So we'll cut the cut into here. Ugh, kind of looks a little... Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just cut that area instead. Alright, it'll, be, it'll look better once it's higher resolution. But... Let's see what happens when we inflate this. Well... I mean, it doesn't look the greatest. I'll, that's, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to say. It kind of looks a little inflated. It's not the nice sculpt look that we're going for. So, yeah, from the profile, it's not... At least this area is not great. But it's also not inaccurate. Now, let's just move this in further. That way the, the poof sticks out further than the actual wavy ears. Yeah, the move tool is definitely much better in this situation than the inflate tool. Remember to be patient. Because patience will get you much farther. Yeah, that looks that looks better at least. Also, from a uh, visual standpoint, in the front, and then we'll kind of go in here, and cut a little further as well. Kind of, yeah. Smooth out these areas. Give it more into the ear here. All right. Yeah, that's better. All right. And then we go right back at it. This 
just a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again. Art is really fun. Uh, it's the details that always seem kind of monotonous, but there are quicker ways to do it. That said, they don't necessarily look as good as doing it hand sculpted. Uh, what I could have done is use an alpha, but it just doesn't doesn't use this, doesn't give you the same effect. I mean, it I guess it could it can look passable if you work on it a little bit more, but it's just not. Not quite up to my standards of quality here. As you can see, they're very high. Alright, get some wavies in there. Some some non-curls, just some Medusa looking waves. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't remember how that goes. Alright. Alright, so we're getting... We're nearing the end of the hand sculpted, at least for this part of the resol revol uh, resolution. This is one step lower than we're going to be at our finished stage. Alright. doing our, our cuts inside of these curls just to make them stand out a bit more. Alright, and then we're going to do this similar thing to what we did on the other side for this ear. We're just kind of just going to push that section in and then move this down. We don't want it to look exactly the same as the other one. Okay. All right, now we go higher res. We go deeper. We go deeper. All right. Oh, that is the wrong tool, Michael. I don't know what the hell you were doing. All right. What we're doing is just making more distinct cuts at a higher resolution, so they're more noticeable, less murky. So the details are more present, ever present. Kind of sounds like a really good Christmas gift. The ever present. It's always actually no, it kind of sounds terrible. You know, it's always a present, so you, you can never open it. It's always a gift. It's like a, a box with a present inside that you'll never be able to see. All right. Kind of like the Everstone in Pokemon. Who actually uses the Everstone? Why? Why? I mean, especially since, like... There, there's already an Everstone built into the game. 
It's the B button. I mean, yeah, I guess it saves you from going through the evolution screen, but I don't know. I, I can never even stop my Pokemon from evolving. I don't understand why people would do that. Oh, I guess some learn moves in their pre-evolution stage. But again, the B button, it exists. The Everstone's just like the lazy man's B button. Might be useful for speedrunners, maybe? I don't know, I've never sped run a game in my life, so... But something tells me that there's some hidden use for it. I am going on a rant about the uh, Everstone for some reason. I think it's probably because I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. None of this newfangled Pokemon, though. We're going fire red. Old school. Why? No idea. Boredom is a hell of a drug. Curl some more and more and more and more and more. All right. As we continue, the good news is, is after we're done with this. We don't have very much longer to finish this project. And that's good. It means we can move on to more projects. Like the ever-growing list of client work that I continue. Actually, I just got a message not too long ago, too, that I'm going to have to check out. Which is probably going to be another job. I mean, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But also, like more work <laughs> actually this is this is a fun this is fun work i just wish i didn't have actual work to go to and i could just use this as my actual work we'll get there eventually all right well, i think that's enough well a little murky over here so we'll uh Curly, curly hair. All right. All right, we're just gonna, gonna do something crazy. We're just gonna keep go in here and kind of create little uh, indents with the damn standard tool. Give it a little bit more organic fluff because it wouldn't all be on one level. Right. And yeah, we're going to see some little dots in there, but that's fine. This is going to be a pretty small, uh, I think it's an ornament. I actually don't remember. Maybe they're selling it on an Etsy shop, something like that. I could not tell you. I mean, I could, uh, if I could remember the information, but the problem is, is remembering the information. And that's the real, real crime. 
And I'm actually going to see some... Well, I want I kind of want to keep the ears intact. Let's move... Because I want this to be more open. Let's actually go back into symmetry here. And let's kind of open that a little bit. See, the problem is that the poodle's head is very thin, or very uh, narrow. Very narrow, so it's kind of strange. When you're hollowing it out. But, oh, making sure, yeah. All right, I love it when it doesn't affect the outside. It means I've done my job. All right, I'm just gonna polish. All right, and now that we've done that, now we're just gonna that was the wrong tool that I was using there. Come on, Michael. Get it together. Alright. Just fill this in as much as possible. Thicken it up. Fill in some of the pockets that we have going on and then we only really have one more uh, thing left to do and that is a couple things left to do <laughs> all right so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go to Z plugin oh I need to get a better chair. Something that does better on my back. But yeah, we're gonna go here. We're going to pre-process this bad boy. Because the idea, well, actually we probably shouldn't have done that yet. Yeah. Yeah, we, we should, actually, we can still cancel. Nice. All right. So instead, what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete all of the lower areas. And actually, we actually will, we will pre-process this and decimate it. So that way it's a little bit easier to work with as we're going along. We're going to have to decimate it again anyway, but this way it kind of gives us more, more wiggle room. I really do like the way that head came out. Oh, just look. Oh, it usually has a loading bar. It, it just decided not to do that this time. That's fine. All right, there, yeah, yeah, that's a lot easier to work with. It doesn't lag at all, good. So now we're gonna take this opportunity to save because I haven't saved in a while and that was playing with fire. I like to live on the dangerous side. I don't, I don't like to live on the dangerous side, that's a lie. All right, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. We're going into sub tool. Oh, actually my door's like wide open there. It didn't matter too much, but at least, I mean, it could help with the echo a little bit. All right, so this is looking okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to append a sphere. It's gonna look really funny there for a little bit. And then we're going to open this. Yeah!
There we go. Alright. Oh, whoa. Ah! I somehow squished it. How does that show up there? We're gonna... Well... Okay... Kinda like that... I'm actually gonna increase the size of this just to... Yeah, okay. Then we're gonna shrink it again a little bit. Oop. Perfect, and now we're going to live bully in this guy. I'm gonna make this a little shallower. And we want it to actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's pretty much. That's where we want it to be. I think that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Is that an old meme? That's an old meme. Alright. But yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. So now, we're gonna take this bullion mesh, and we're gonna make it. Alright, now, we're gonna append this boy right here. Delete this. Delete this. And now we just have the mesh with the 14K etched out into it. But as you can see, it's a little strange and we're still really dense on the mesh. So we're gonna process this. Now that we've processed it, we're going to decimate it. As Amenomarth always says. No, wait, not Amenomarth. Uh, Winds of Plague. Ha! I got the right band eventually. As Winds of Plague always says, decimate the weak. Uh, you know what? That's. I mean. Let me. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I mean, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm a professional after all. Come on. What do you take me for? A not professional? You fool. I might have to redo that, actually. Yeah, because we need that to be... That's really strange. I wonder why I did that. So maybe we'll go, we'll bump this up to 50. And then we'll pre-process it. Usually it keeps that intact. That's really strange that it didn't do that this time. But far be it from me to question the almighty ZBrush. Now it still did that. Why is it welding that point there? That's really Freaking weird, ZBrush. You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? I know what we'll do. We'll Dynamesh it first. Right? Am I right? No. Oh, oh, no. We'll, we'll, we, won't <laughs> we won't do it at that resolution. That's for damn sure. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, what are we looking like? Alright. Alright, yeah. That's what... Uh, no. Still not great. Alright, we'll go, we'll bump this up to, let's go, let's go about 496. What was it, 360 last time? I mean, I mean, you know, it's still not ideal. Let's go to 672. We're just gonna keep trying.
Okay, that's a little better. And then we should be able to pre-process this and kind of split this in half over and over and over again. Oof. We don't want this file to be a billion gigabytes. I mean, for one, what computer in the world is going to handle a, a billion gigabytes? That's just insane. Do, 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 do. Really dig this soundtrack. I really also wish that this would take a little less time. Ugh. Sitting here staring at a screen is, I know, just the most entertaining content on the planet. There we go. All right, now that we've done that, we'll decimate it. It should be easier to do as we go. Uh, reading Go Z file. Are we going to complete it? Yeah, we're going to complete it. And then it's going to look real weird. Hell yeah. But we're going to decimate it again. We're going to keep decimating it until it gets its act together and stops fucking up that edge there. Decimate. All right, we are getting better. All right, we still haven't changed the form of this at all, so we're doing good on that aspect. See, the idea was that yeah, I do like that it's keeping resolution here at the edges. Uh, we are going to decimate it one more time, and that should make it a little easier to move around. Decimate this one more time. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Now we can move it around freely and it won't look so weird. All right. Still a bit dense, to be honest. We could probably get away with doing it again. In fact, ipso facto. That's not the right context to use that. I'm going to have to make a note to myself. Use ipso facto more often. It just sounds so cool. All right. There we go. Now we're looking. Now we're now we're cooking. Now it I mean it looks still pretty dense, but I think that that's pretty much what we want. Um Let's see, what's the... So, okay. Interesting. I wonder if I can, okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for this model. We're gonna go ahead and send this off to our client. Cliente. 
Eh, maybe we'll. Let's see. We'll kind of smooth this out a little bit, make it, make it a little better. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. All right. That's fine. But yeah, that is our poodle pretty much done and dusted. We're going to go ahead and save this again. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to do the uh we have to do the test. And the test is we go to modify topology. We weld the points, right? And then we close the holes. And when we close the holes, we weld the points again. And then we repeat the process a few times. All right, and after we've welded the points, we're gonna go back here. And now we have the subtool selected and we're gonna go to split. We're gonna split to parts. We're gonna see if there are any stragglers. There's not, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Actually, let's move this out. Yeah. Make that inside purdy. All right. Yeah. Oh, look. I didn't want to do that. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I forgot this was on symmetry. All right. Well. Eh, we're going to go ahead and save this again. Why not, right? Hell yeah. And now... What we can do is go back to our Z plugin and then that 3D print master or hub. I was thinking decimation master. They should just name every plugin master. Export. And we're going to name this Poodle. Why? Because we're clever. That's why absolutely clever with our naming conventions but anyway uh let's see we'll, we'll, we'll look at this oh looks a little creepy in perspective to be honest but hey that's just because the 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 muzzle the the snout the nose it's uh, a little closer to us than the rest of the body well hey look why don't we look at look at this here in uh go to external renderer to get ourselves a key shot render in this B. I think this is a, a pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, come on, key shot. What do you got for us? All right. Let's dolly this in here. And then. Let's see, let's change this material. Yeah, we'll change it to something. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we'll change the specular. Okay. The diffuse. Uh, if it opens, that is. Oh, interesting. Do, do we not get to change the diffuse on, on this? It's a little strange. Uh, yeah, just make that like a darker, darker blue. And then we'll go to environment, change that color to a nice, yeah, nice muted. A nice muted cyan. That's where we want it. And we'll render it out. <laughs> Poodle. Underscore. Render. Red, apparently. All right. And we'll change the direction to my desktop. Sounds good to me. And we're gonna preset this. Where's the 1980 by, wait, 1920 by 1080 it should be. Why is that not by 1080? That's weird. There. 
That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Now, hold up. Hold the phone. Nah, you know what, whatever. We'll just render it. Fuck it, am I right? And this is just so we can show off a bit. I think out of the three that I've done so far, I like this one probably the most. I think I'm getting used I'm getting used to modeling dogs. The first one I did was an English Bulldog, and the English Bulldog really, uh, that was an adventure. There are so many wrinkles and folds on those things, it's, it's a bit insane. The second one wasn't as interesting, it was just a Corgi. And since we can't really model the fur, it doesn't quite fit the bill. Because it's, you know, it's pretty short fur, at least on the head, which is all they want. Get out of here. Get out of here, Poodle Render. No one wants you anymore. Okay. We're gonna discard that. I'm gonna change the material. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, don't want that. Uh Satin? Satin looks better. I like satin. Uh, let's give it a more... Yeah, now it's like gold, almost. Well, kinda. <laughs> no, that, that does not look anything like gold. As a wise man once said, what you talking about, Willis? Okay. Well, you know. Uh, let's go metallic. Oh, that looks a lot better. A lot more like gold, actually. Well, now it's green, so that doesn't work. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh... Ooh, definitely not that. That's not what we're doing. Is what <laughs> yeah. Kind of fits the 14K motif, am I right? I'm not actually sure if they're casting this in gold or not. But they have. They want this 14K stamped on all of them. I don't know if that's like the name of their company. My cat wants inside. Let me give him what he wants. Mission, mission accomplished. The cat has entered the room. All right, yeah, that's enough messing around. Uh, let's see, what time is it? 5.04. Well, we've been streaming for another for an hour, so that sounds like a good time to stop. Now that we've finished this, we've finished our other project. Tomorrow, well, all dependent on revisions and whatnot. Uh, so we'll see if they want this revised. But, uh, yeah. So tomorrow, we will be working on another project. Uh, that one's actually going to be really simple, so I might just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But other than that, uh, I think that's just about it. We're going to go ahead and end this stream. I uh, appreciate everyone for stopping by. If you haven't yet, definitely follow the channel, because I do this stuff literally every day. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, release YouTube videos on, well, uh, I'm going to try to be releasing YouTube videos on Tuesdays, uh, and we stream every day at, well, most days, except for Saturdays, 
on at 2 a or 3 30 3 30 i have the schedule up i know my schedule anyway that's it thanks for hanging out peace oh yeah and 